If you're like me, you use your phone to shoot photos, uh, family events, or travel, vacation, just life kind of things. You're not a professional photographer. And that's one of the things that I really like about using a phone is that it will get you very professional results without being a pro. And part of that is because of the nature of the phone itself, just the way iPhones or Androids are designed. But then the other part of that is from third-party apps. And one app I wanna look at today that can really up your game, but is very simple to use, is called Reheld. Previously, I did a video on the Reflex Camera app and how it's a great app for, again, everyday photography, but it also has the ability to do higher end things like long exposure or trails, et cetera, which, you know, you're shooting stars or traffic and that kind of thing. And you could get really good results using that app. However, one of the things you gotta do with that app, or really any app or camera for that matter, shooting long exposure is have a tripod with you. Well, let's say you're out on a hike or you're on a family vacation or you're just out and about and you see something you wanna shoot for long exposure. Well, now that's where Reheld comes in because it is an AI powered app that allows you to shoot long exposure with no tripod. And the app couldn't be simpler to use. There is a shutter button. You can set it from one to 30 seconds to do your long exposure. And you can choose your lens depending on which phone you're on wide tele or ultra wide and then you could also choose to set a short timer that way the phone doesn't start recording right off the bat so you can get settled in or get your shot lined up or get as still as possible now again if you've ever done long exposure the ability to do this without a tripod is kind of mind-blowing it really is because again the whole point is the camera has to stay as still as possible to be able to get whatever's moving in the frame frozen in time, so to speak. And that motion then looks like a blur, for example, clouds or water. And then whatever is not moving in the frame is looks like a normal photo, is static. And so that's one tip when you're shooting with the app is you want to make sure that you do have something static in the shot. That way the AI can track onto that, for lack of a better word. It knows what is still in the image and what is moving. And then the other thing is, even though you don't need a tripod, it's best to stay as still as possible to get the best results. And really though, it does a great job. I'm very surprising job, even with a little bit of movement. To me, what makes this app great is how simple it is to use. You literally just point and shoot and the results you get are very good. And again, back to my original point, apps like this, and then of course the phone, the technology in the phone can really create very professional looking photos without really knowing what you're doing. <laughs> it's not that hard and it's pretty cool. And AI is taking that to the next level. And so if you've never shot long exposure, this is a great way to get into it. And even if you have shot long exposure, this is a great app to have with you because again, you're out and about, you don't have a tripod, you can use this and shoot some really cool looking photos and it's so easy to do. Now the app has two price tiers. There is a subscription and then there's a one-time fee. For me, I go with the one-time fee. It's not that much more than a subscription and then you're done. You get the app and the updates and so that's the way I would go, but you do whatever you want. There is an option. But to have the ability to do long exposure in your pocket no matter where you are without a tripod is really, again, very cool. And so whether you're a hobbyist photographer like me or a professional photographer, I think this is a really good app to consider adding to your phone. Thanks for watching. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.